What's up everyone? I'm Joanna Noble for GRM Daily and this is your weekly news. Big ups to Virgil Abloh who has been appointed the new artistic director of Louis Vuitton's menswear. The designer who is also the founder of the Off-White label is their first black artistic director and one of the few black designers at the top of a French heritage house. He started off interning at Fendi, then went on to become creative partners with Kanye West and just last year received the Urban Lux Award at the British Fashion Awards. We look forward to seeing what he's going to bring to the fashion house. Last Friday, Giggs put on another insane headline show, this time at the Roundhouse in Camden, and all in the name of charity. It wasn't just him though, he brought through the likes of Dave, Sneakbo, Chip, Kano, DEE, and FTSE. If you didn't make it, you can feel like you were there by heading over to our site and checking out the highlights. Speaking of standout shows, Crept and Conan put on two explosive shows on Wednesday and Thursday last week, so wild that Conan even lost a shoe. It was given a five star rating from The Independent, but if you missed it, don't worry, they've announced another headline show at Alexandra Palace on the 25th of October. It's sure to be a big one, and tickets go on sale on Thursday, the 29th of March. Facebook boss Mark Zuckerberg has taken out full-page adverts in several UK and US Sunday newspapers to apologise for a recent privacy scandal. He said Facebook could have done more to stop millions of users having their data exploited by political consultancy Cambridge Analytica in 2014. The data breach was through a personality quiz Facebook invited users to try. The app collected some public data from the user's friends though without their knowledge. It has also it has also been claimed that data was sold to Cambridge Analytica, which was then used to psychologically profile people and deliver pro-Trump material to them during the 2016 US presidential election campaign. We'll keep you guys updated on this. Box office smash Black Panther has now become the highest domestic grossing superhero movie of all time in the space of 36 days. So it's no surprise that part two is already underway. We don't have any of the juicy details yet, but we'll keep you guys updated. And if you missed it, make sure you watch our exclusive interview with the two UK stars of the film, Daniel Kaluuya and Letitia Wright. Jacqueline Wilson has confirmed that she's in the process of writing a follow-up story to one of Britain's most beloved characters, Tracy Beaker. The novel will see Tracy Beaker all grown up living on a council estate as a single mum. The novel, entitled My Mum Tracy Beaker, will be told from the perspective of Jess, Tracy's nine-year-old daughter. The book sequel will be aimed at younger audiences, but written with an older audience in mind, so get your reading glasses on, guys. Earlier on this month, we all heard about the incident at Nottingham Trent University where student Rue recorded a group of students chanting awful racist things outside her door. And now students at Exeter have been punished for posting racist and rape remarks in their Law Society WhatsApp group chat. After gaining major online support, the university finally addressed the issue stating that it would not be tolerated and have since removed the students from the society. Hackney singer Jerome Thomas unleashes some soulful sounds on the Colours platform to debut his newest singles, 1989. Make sure you guys check it out. And he's also performing at Hoxton Square Bar on the 3rd of May, so make sure you get your tickets for that. So that's it from me today. Be sure to check out GRM Daily for more info on all the topics I've mentioned. And also be sure to follow at GRM Daily on everything.